Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday, December 3rd, 2016. And I hope everyone is having a beautiful day in the Lord. Wow. Who would who would have thought we'd still be here, right? And uh, that it could get any worse. <laughs> Israel is about to be split and forced by the UN if they don't consent. And, um, you know, it's getting closer and closer. Just uh, amazing the, uh, at the, the speed of which everything is happening. I'm sorry I haven't been on here for a few days. I, um, I feel like the Holy Spirit wants me to go in another direction with something. And um, I don't feel confident. And um, I think the Holy Spirit wants me to rely on Him to basically get me to the plate and start it. But I have this resistance where I feel I need to know uh, some kind of format first. And um, this has been the battle. So uh, uh, just, you know, if you can, just say a prayer for the Lord to give me clarity on what he wants me to do and uh, I thank you I have a couple of devotionals I just like to say the Our Father first so please join me Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen thank you father for another day I thank you for these ministries and all my blessings and um, thank you for the Holy Communion that we have and um, father I I want to please you so Please help me, give me whatever it is that I need to start whatever project you want me to start and speak to whatever group you want me to speak to. Um, I'm willing, but um, I have these barriers, so please help me overcome these barriers, Father. Um, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, I'm reading from uh, Psalm 119, verse 1 through 8. Blessed are they whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who keep his statutes and seek him with all their heart. They do no wrong, but follow his ways. You have laid down precepts that are to be fully obeyed. Oh, that my ways were steadfast in obeying your decrees. Then I would not be put to shame when I consider all your commands. I will praise you with an upright heart as I learn your righteous laws. I will obey your decrees. Do not utterly forsake me. And the commentary is called The Word. What is it? or what it is. Psalm 1 said that the key to knowing God is delight in God's Word. What is it? As His law, decrees, and commands, His Word is absolutely authoritative and must be obeyed. As His statutes, it is permanently relevant for every time and place and must be trusted. As his precepts, it is consummate wisdom, such as what he requires perfectly fits our needs and nature. As his ways, it is not a set or abstract rules, but an expression of God's own character and nature. So knowing the Bible is no end in itself. We know it in order to seek him with all our heart, to know fellowship with God. 
And a prayer we can say is, Lord, for years I thought that you could be active in my life through the Spirit, and that the Bible was just a book of rules and inspirational stories. Thank you for showing me that the Bible is the way, that through the Spirit you are active in my life. Let me know you through your word. Amen. And that's really one way we get to know the Father, is through reading the word. Um, it shouldn't be... Um, like, you know, when we went to school and you had homework and you didn't want to do it, it was drudgery and, um, you know, you had to be forced by your parents sometimes to do your do homework. Um, the Bible should be something that you take delight in because when you read it, he speaks directly to you for whatever issues you have in your life. And the time I asked the father what my lineage was because my life was so unconventional and I said to the father in prayer I said father tell me you know where I come from my you know my lineage because you can only trace you know you, wherever you're born into that that doesn't mean that you're going to find out all the way back to that when Christ uh, was here you know oh where your bloodline was so you know I asked him and um, he he whispered in my ear he told me go to Ezekiel and then he led me from there to another scripture in Job which both confirmed Levites and then I asked him for a third confirmation and it was on Super Bowl Sunday that this happened last year and um, I came downstairs, and the, the game was on, and um, I walked in front of the TV at just the right time that the commentator said, um, he made an announcement, and he said, coming to you from Levi Stadium. And that was enough for me. He gave me three confirmations in one day. Levi. Levi. Okay? So, you see, the Father speaks to you. Um, and... Um, you know, this is a big bone of contention I have with the Catholic Church because they don't encourage people to read the Bible and get to know the Lord. This is what the, the Catholic uh, 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 parishioners, are, are, they're losing out on this Holy Communion with the Father and salvation. And um, <laughs> this has got to do with what the Father wants me to do that I'm resisting doing and to speak to the Catholics but um, uh, this is think about it you know I just told you I gave you an example of how the father revealed something about myself to me he spoke directly to me and my my uh, my uh, sensitivity and my need to know something um, you know, he, he said, well, you asked, and, you know, uh, if I want you to know, I'm going to tell you. If I don't want you to know, I'm not going to tell you. And you have to understand one thing. When he doesn't tell you something, it's because maybe you're not evolved enough to hear it. So you wait on him, and then eventually he'll slip something else out. You know, as, as you grow in the spirit and you become more able sometimes to handle the truth. Uh, sometimes we're not evolved enough, you know, to handle it. But um, this is how the Father speaks to us. This is why we have to uh, love the words of God. We have to love his truth. This is the way we, we stay connected to the Father. And the people that have, uh, some of the people that have the closest relationships with the Father are in the Word a lot. And the more you're in the Word, the closer your Holy Communion is. So if you want to get closer to the Father, not only speak to him directly like I'm speaking to you, but read the word so that he can answer you. Um, and this second one is uh, Psalms 119, verse 9 through 16, and it's called the word, what we should do. Um, how can a young person stay on the path of purity? By living according to your word. I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. 
Praise be to you, Lord. Teach me your decrees. With my lips, I recount all the laws that come from your mouth. I rejoice in following your statutes as one rejoices in great riches. I meditate on your precepts and consider your ways. I delight in your decrees. I will not neglect your word. And the commentary is, how should we use the word? We should see amazing riches in the word and meditate on it long and hard. We must hide the word of God in our hearts through closely reading and memorizing it. We ought to work the truths of scripture into our affections until they shape our loves, our hopes and imagination. Jesus was the preeminent example of this. In his darkest moments when he was being forsaken, betrayed and killed, he quotes scripture. His heart was so shaped by scripture that it came to mind whenever he was in need or in difficulty. The word of God should also dwell in us richly. And, and does it? Does it for you? If it doesn't, here's a prayer we can say. Lord, there is nothing valuable in life that does not require enormous work. Why should knowing you through your word be any different? I confess that I neglect your word. Even when I read it, I neglect to digest it and apply it. Help me, please, Father. Amen. And, um, you know, I'm, I can't retain a lot of the, the scripture myself. And uh, what I do sometimes is put a short verse on an index card and carry it around with me and look at it frequently. Uh, so, you know, sometimes I don't remember things, but then if I'm, if I'm in a confrontation with somebody, it comes up. See, it's in there. <laughs> it's like that golden blossom honey, you know, it's in there. Everybody has one <laughs> somewhere in the back of the cabinet. <laughs> anyway, it was very nice to come back and see all of you again. Um, I hope everybody is well. Um, uh, it's, getting, it's getting closer. Don't be afraid, people. All right, stay in the body of Christ. And you'll be fine. Father will protect you. I love you. Jesus loves you. Never forget it. Never forget it. He's coming soon. Keep looking up.